everyone i am neela mishra join me for another informative presentation on one of the cheapest renewable and sustainable biofuel the current global energy crisis has once again highlighted the key role of indigenous renewable energy transitions and prompted new urgency to accelerate the concept of energy independence the shift in india's energy policy has led to the introduction of multiple initiatives for the promotion of renewable energy in order to become more self sufficient in energy sector while solar wind and hydropower dominate the discussion on renewable energy worldwide they are not the only options available in this context a greater consensus about the need and utility of tapping into our national resources for energy supply has created impetus for biomass as a competitive energy source at a time when sustainability economic viability and safety of renewable energy are also being debated it is necessary to look at one of the oldest bioenergy alternatives the simplest biofuel anyone can make and use do you know about it you guessed it right i'm talking about biogas Biogas is one of the viable, reliable and affordable alternatives to the burning energy questions. It is an important option to foster sustainable development in agriculture-based economies like India. However, it is an often overlooked and neglected form of renewable energy in our country. Biogas has the potential to emerge as a locally accessible low carbon fuel source and offers the best opportunities to the rural communities to meet their energy demand. Moreover, biogas development can be integrated with strategies to improve sanitation particularly in urban areas. The growing concerns toward decarbonization of economy, effective solid waste management and reduction in greenhouse gas emissions could serve as the key drivers to increase the biogas development in our country the robust biogas industry would also offer new developmental perspectives to structurally weak rural areas and can lead to beneficial structural changes in land use and agriculture practices in addition production of biogas from organic waste does not create a biofuel carbon debt hence Biogas technology is a good choice to achieve not only multiple sustainable development goals but also to move towards India's ambitious goal of net zero by 2070. In the backdrop of pressing needs of energy security, today's video throws light on the fundamental aspects of biogas production. The structure of the presentation is outlined on your screen. it will mainly cover the technology used in biogas production the chemical composition of biogas its characteristics followed by the applications of biogas so keep watching the video to understand the science behind biogas let's start with a brief history biogas in india has been around for a long time in 1970s the country began a program called the national biogas and manure management program to deal with problems of gas shortage at that time the objectives of this program is to provide clean cooking fuel for kitchens lighting and meeting other thermal small power needs of farmers and other users including individual households and to improve organic manure system based on biogas the idea was good but over a period of time it failed due to several challenges and limitations later on Several other support schemes for biogas development such as off-grid biogas power generation program, Govardhan waste to energy program have been implemented by government of India. Regardless of these efforts and multi-pronged approach, diffusion of biogas technology is still constrained by several financial, social and institutional factors. On the other hand, European Union and China significantly boosted their industrial growth of biogas and are world leaders today. Germany is the dominant country followed by Italy and France. We need to learn from strategy these countries have employed and rejuvenate our domestic biogas industry and must overcome all the barriers impeding the commercialization and deployment of biogas technologies in India. There is a very wide scope for the growth of biogas industry in India. 
as the country is blessed with enormous area of fertile cultivable land a favorable climate that allows the huge biomass availability in addition huge amount of animal waste municipal waste agriculture industrial processing waste can also be exploited to generate biogas as depicted in this slide biogas potential in india ranges from 310 to 655 billion cubic meters per year by 2040 which is around 36% of india's current total primary energy supply in high availability scenario now let's move on to understand the biochemistry of biogas production biogas is a colorless combustible renewable gaseous biofuel that is produced when microorganisms digest organic matter of biological origin in the anaerobic environment such as swamps wetlands sediments and in the rumen of ruminant animals and thus sometimes also called as marsh or swamp gas the biochemical process by which biogas is generated is called anaerobic digestion abbreviated as ad it involves the biochemical conversion of organic matter to methane and carbon dioxide gases plus some trace gases inorganic nutrients and compost the process occurs through a sequence of four biochemical reactions organized on the basis of unique functional group of microorganisms these four stages are hydrolysis acidogenesis acetogenesis and methanogenesis as shown in this slide the anaerobic digestion is driven by metabolisms of a complex community of microbes that includes bacteria and archaeobacteria and probably also fungi and protozoa hydrolysis is the first step in the process of anaerobic digestion and is characterized by the solubilization and degradation of complex biopolymeric organic compounds for example polysaccharides proteins and lipids present in the feedstock and collateral waste into small soluble monomeric or oligomeric organic compounds such as glucose cellulose amino acids fatty acids and glycerol this hydrolysis step is catalyzed by extracellular hydrolases such as cellulases proteases and lipases secreted by the facultative or strictly anaerobic bacteria the resultant hydrolysis products thereafter undergo absorption and degradation in the second phase of acidogenesis mediated by species of facultative and obligate anaerobic bacteria producing short chain volatile fatty acids carbon dioxide and hydrogen the major fatty acids formed include formate acetate propionate lactate etc small quantities of alcohols for example methanol ethanol glycerol and butanol are also produced depending on the feedstock and the ad processes used acetogenesis is the third phase which involves a unique guild of strictly anaerobic bacteria known as syntrophic acetogens these bacteria convert ethanol propionate butyrate and other short chain fatty acids that have three or more carbons to acetate hydrogen and carbon dioxide the final phase of anaerobic digestion involves a group of archaeobacteria called methanogens which are different from bacteria methanogens are strict anaerobes that reside in close proximity to the syntrophic acetogens and rapidly consume the hydrogen produced by the latter organisms thus ensuring a low partial hydrogen pressure allowing acetogens and methanogens to live in syntrophy through interspecies hydrogen transfer methanogenesis is a critical step in ad process during this stage carbon dioxide reducing and hydrogen oxidizing methanogens convert hydrogen and carbon dioxide to obtain methane hydrogenotrophic methanogens utilize acetate hydrogen and carbon dioxide to form methane and carbon dioxide while acetotrophic methanogens convert acetate to methane the end product biogas mainly comprises of approximately 60 to 70% methane 40 to 30% carbon dioxide even though the composition varies depending on feedstock and the operations used the production of biogas is also influenced by many other factors such as nutrients ph of feedstock medium temperature flow rate of feed and retention time it's time to wrap up this video i would like to emphasize here that with the right processing biogas can be upgraded to replace mine natural gas for use as a fuel for electricity production 
ground transportation and commercial and residential buildings because the calorific value of typical methane biogas ranges from 5.5 to 6.5 kilowatt hour per cubic meter whereas mined natural gas has an energy value of 5.8 to 7.8 kilowatt per cubic meter in fact power generation from biomass is currently the most popular and growing market worldwide due to technological improvements decreasing reliance on fossil fuel based energy and climate change threats Direct electricity generation from biogas using fuel cells is an appealing alternative because of improved efficiency and the reduced production of pollutants. Biogas can also be compressed to form bio-CNG or biomethane. The Government of India's sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation, abbreviated as Satat initiative, was launched to boost the availability of compressed biogas for the automotive and industrial sectors. Additionally, the conversion of methane gas in liquid fuel is an attractive alternative as liquid fuel is easier and cheaper to store and transport. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. I will discuss about the types of biogas reactors in the next video. Don't forget to post your comments. Your valuable feedback motivates me to prepare more relevant and informative lectures for the benefit of career aspirants and higher education students. Thank you for your kind attention and patience. Stay safe and keep learning with BioShorts. Till we meet again, have a nice time.